Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Motor Extended. Now is the QA session. My name is Herbert and I'll be answering some of the questions left in the comments. Okay, so let's see. The first question is from Arshan Sale. He asked, what type of the glue is used for the magnet's edge throughout the parameter? Great question. The glue choice mainly depends on the motor use, cost, environment, etc. Especially the strength needed after magnet assembly. So common brands including EMS, Loctite, Thread Bond, etc. The most popular is epoxy adhesive because it is strong, heat resistant, and handles vibration very well. Some manufacturers also use anaerobic adhesive for extra re reinforcement to keep the magnet secure. So choosing the right glue improves performance and durability. Okay, so next up, we have our second question. Hello friend, I have a similar winding machine of your production. On which software should I write the winding program? Okay, actually, it's not a really software, but multi-axis motion control card. The most common systems are PLC programming software and the CNC control system. Some devices also support third-party software like LabVIEW, Siemens TR Portal, or Mitsubishi GX Works. I recommend checking the menu or contacting the supplier to find the best option. Okay, here's another interesting one from Mr. Hebro Valuable. Why doesn't the varnish come off the copper wire when it bends on the iron core and slides onto the reel? Does the iron core have to be made of plastic? So, the insulation varnish on enameled copper wire is usually polyurethane or polymide, making it strong and durable even when bent. The iron core is polished to reduce friction, usually to RA0.2 to 0.4. However, if the surface is too rough or sharp, it can still scratch the varnish. So that is why the manufacturers use plastic or sometimes Teflon coatings for extra protection. And that's it. That's all for today's episode of Dr. Motor Extended QA session. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.